Hello, my name is Zara Wiley and this video is to help you plant your acorns for seed to seedling. All right, so before we get started, we're gonna make sure we have everything we need. Um, I have my planting tray with all my pots. I have my bag of acorns that was provided for you by the Tree Foundation or if you have your own acorns, that's great. Um, for our classroom setup, we like to use a lunch tray to put underneath our planting pots in the classroom so that they don't make a big wet mess everywhere when you bring them in from watering. Um, and I also like to use um, a little wooden tongue depressor to uh, label the trees for every student. You can also use uh, clothespins work really well or anything else that you can make unique so that we remember which acorn belongs to which student. So uh, the most important thing before you get started actually has to do with the pots in the soil. Um, it's very important that they get all the way wet because potting soil is special. The whole reason that we use just not like regular dirt from your yard is that we wanna make sure that the roots have the optimum growing um, opportunity in here, that they're not too soggy and they're not too dry. So potting soil is specially formulated to let water move through it and get moist, but not be too wet. So before you get started, if these have been sitting around for a couple of days or even a week, they might be too dry. Um, even if you water them just on the top and they look wet up top, to make sure that they've been watered correctly, you wanna poke the bottom and make sure that it's a little bit moist. Um, I just watered these. I had to water them about three times over the course of about 15 minutes to get them fully saturated. So make sure that your soil is properly wet and that will really help your acorns get off to the best start. Uh, next, we are going to check our acorn. You should have really great acorns if you got acorns from us from seed to seedling. Um, they've been hand sorted. We made sure that you had really good quality acorns that weren't full of holes or rotten. Um, if you have your own acorns, there's some other steps that you can take. Feel free to reach out and we'll give you some tips on making sure your students all get an acorn that will grow. Um, all acorns have kind of an end with a little dot. That's the part where it's attached to the acorn cap on the tree and then a pointy end. The pointy end is the most important part because this is where the tree starts to grow from. This will open up and first you'll get a little root, a radical that emerges and grows those first roots and then a shoot will pop up and head for the sun. So as you're planting these, we're going to take the pointy end and we're gonna put that down. It goes near the middle of your pot. So unless you have really, really large acorns, you can put them straight up and down in the middle. That's fine. Or I prefer to put them just kind of at an angle. So I'll make a little hole with my finger near the middle of the pot and then I'll take my pointy end and tuck it right in there and push the acorn in underground. I like to pretend I'm a blue jay or some other animal planting the acorn. And I'll cover it up so I can't see it anymore. Um, this is especially important if it's gonna be out somewhere where there's um, animals like scrub jays that would be excited that you planted them a feast. I'm gonna label it with my student label so that I know that this one is mine. And it can go back in the tray or whatever you're using to hold your pots upright. Um, then make sure you water them in once again and you won't need to water them again, uh, usually for a couple of days, until the bottom of those pots. Remember, we're gonna check if it's wet enough by poking the bottom. When it feels dry down here, go ahead and water them thoroughly. Um, and that's all. I hope you have a lot of fun planting your acorns for seed to seedling. Uh, they will take several weeks before you see anything happening, but they will be growing underground, so don't worry. Just make sure you keep them watered and reach out if you have any questions. Thanks.